and we're going to talk a little bit first about music for gym stick. So gym stick music is now available both to the public and to instructors through powermusic.com. They are our preferred music supplier and have been fantastic to work with. They do great edits for us and we need music for gym stick specific because we talk about timings, how long to do each exercise. And we focus on the length of time rather than on heavy repetitions because people move differently when you have different arm lengths and leg lengths and also you have different levels of intensity. So if you want the music that goes really well with this format, go to powermusic.com and type in Gymstick in the search bar and you'll get all our regular releases. Okay, so let's talk about this week's exercise. Now, it's not a super tough one. And it's great for recovery. So if you're doing a workout and you've got a whole bunch of gymnastic exercises in it, this one's a great one for in between two trios that have really wiped you out. So lots of tension on the bands. Hold the gymnastic nice and wide. So you've got a wide grip here. Stand with your right leg out to the side. It's just toes just on the floor. Take the foot across the body. Now, when you take the foot across the body, Turn the toe out slightly so that you're leading with your heel and you're dragging that inner thigh across the body. And that's where you'll feel it the most. So you'll feel it in your inner thigh. Then you'll also feel it in your left leg because you're holding yourself in almost a balanced position. And then you'll feel it a little bit through your midsection. When you're doing this exercise, make sure that your hands don't stay on your thighs. So what I do is I just lift the gym stick away from the body slightly so that leg can move freely in front. Also, it engages my upper body just gently so that my midsection muscles come on. So we do this for 30 seconds. Then we have a 10 second break, and then we add a little bit of upper body work. Now, this is where you'll start to really feel it in your midsection. So, you'll notice that my right arm stays straight the entire time, and it's my left hand that's doing all the pushing. So my left arm, is doing all the work. So now I'm incorporating a little bit of upper body work. I can definitely feel it my chest on this side. A little bit sore from yesterday's workout. But you'll feel that both in your chest and in your upper arms as you push the gym stick across. Your foot still taps and touches the floor just gently to the side. You're not actually pushing and off and pushing and off. You still are maintaining balance on your left leg. So you do three seconds of this. Then there's a 10 second break of the music. And then I've just added a bit more tension on because I know I'm about to balance. So adding tension onto the gym stick actually makes it easier to balance. Yes, you have to work a little bit harder, but from a balanced perspective with those muscles a little bit more contracted, it's a lot easier to do. So quite often people think it'll be easier if they take the resistance off. It's the opposite, you wanna add resistance on. So we're really going to maintain our balance, yeah? And see if you can do that, since we've been touching the floor for the other two exercises. Do that for 30 seconds, then have a reasonably good break. So you have a 20 second break here, and then we repeat the whole thing, holding the arms still, on the left hand side. So that left toe just touches the floor and it sweeps across the body. Remember, you want to aim to get the heel across, yeah, not the toe. So another common error that people do is they'll kick the toe across, which takes all the stress and load out of using the inner thigh muscles, and it will feel a lot easier. So if the exercise feels easy, just check what you're doing with your footwork. And then we add the arms in the next lot of 30 seconds, and then we add the full balance movement in the final lot of 30 seconds. So it's a great inner thigh workout. It gives the shoulders a little bit of a reprieve from previous exercises, especially if you're about to do another really tough one and you're doing a series of gym stick exercises one after the other. If you're an instructor, you definitely want to make use of exercises like this, help keep the shoulders down and away from the ears, helps people reset their posture without too much cueing from you. And that's this week's gym stick tip.